Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, here in Monaco. Uh, it's already Sunday after the race, so I'll start uh, our journey from uh, Wednesday. It all starts a bit earlier uh, here in Monaco. It's a long, busy week because we start our pre practice on Thursday. On Wednesday, the track walk around Monaco is quite strange because uh, all the cars are still driving on the normal road and we kind of have to take the sideway walk and uh, try to understand if something has been changed on the track. It's quite, uh, quite unusual, but uh, still we managed to get uh, the job done. So on Friday, obviously, we had a day off uh, here in Monaco, it's a chance to do some events for PR people. And uh, we met the Starlight kids, which was very, very nice to see them in such a good spirit, such a good mood. They, they really brought us so much positive energy uh, on that day. It was, it was really nice. So Thursday was, uh, I would say, so-so. I wouldn't say there was particularly anything bad. Maybe the timing sheets looked a lot worse than it was, but I wasn't entirely comfortable with the car. It wasn't doing exactly what I wanted from it. And uh, uh, so we knew that on Friday we had a lot of things to analyze because Friday is a free day in Monaco race weekend. Just trying to tweak the car a little bit more to my liking. And uh, usually when uh, I get what I like, uh, I always uh, am able to extract everything out of the car. So that's exactly what happened. We did a very good job with my engineers. We made a few small changes, but very sensible. And, uh, and then uh, when I went out on track again on Saturday, I had a lot better overall feeling with the car. I was able to become more and more confident because here on the streets of uh, Monaco, it's very crucial to be able to, to brake as late as you want, to turn the car well and still be able to get a good traction. And because the walls are so close and it's so narrow, you really need to trust the car and uh, yourself here. So qualifying was very good. It was the third Q3 in a row and uh, I'm really satisfied uh, with how Saturday went. So starting the race in P7, uh, Gazda got a penalty, I think, for impeding in qualifying. The race uh, weather prediction was quite uh, tricky. It was a 50% chance of, uh, of rain. So yeah, the race itself was quite, uh, quite good. I had a so-so uh, start, the first corner, I mean, uh, because I was a bit stuck behind other cars, so I lost two positions on lap one. From there on, it was just a race of management, you know, trying to manage the gaps and the tires, trying to stay as close as possible to the cars in front. And uh, I think we did a really good job, to, you know, securing uh, P7, my best ever Toro Rosso position uh, at the finish of the race. Uh, I was very happy today, uh, many points for me and for the team. And uh, we will keep pushing, we are really motivated now and we will do everything we can in the next races. And thank you to all of you for following us on this journey and uh, it's, it's going to be very exciting. Thanks.